Hi guys. I'm trying to hold up my iPad. It's run out of batteries. Hello. What's going on? Oh, I'm trying to get my coffee. No one's here. One person's here. Helen's here. Hi darling. Got my hair. What's going on today? <laughs> What's happening, guys? It is freezing here. I'm in a scarf. I've got a blanket over my legs. My house is like an ice, ice block. Apparently, it's the coldest weekend in history or something in Perth. I'm like, <laughs> I'm dying. Hi, Sandy. Hi, that fine auntie. Hi, guys. I've got to go swap the heater that doesn't work with the heater that does work today at the shops. Because I can't have no heat in this house for the whole weekend. I'm going to die. Hi, Swag Novail. <laughs> Swag Novail. Hi, guys. Hi, R H R D H T T. I can't say half of your names, guys. <laughs> My dyslexia kicks in when I'm trying to read these tiny letters. Hi, everyone. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, guys. Yes, yeah, you said it right. Oh, did I? Hey, Loz, your energy makes me excited to manifest again. Yay! Well, you're manifesting all the time now, darling. You're just going to do it correctly. <laughs> you're just going to get what you want, not what you don't want. You're manifesting all the crap you don't want, darling. <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> Wonderful, darling. Rana Het from Facebook. Oh, it's Rana! Oh, okay. Now I get what your username is. Loz, I'm so hurt and confused. SP came back but ghosted. I'm really... Darling, you're saying they ghosted. How do you know? How do you not know they've fallen down a well and lost their phone? How do you not know they're not sitting there composing the best text anyone's ever written? Guys, so many of you get them back and then your, your thoughts about them ghosting, your thoughts about them leaving again, your thoughts about this is too good to be true, kick in and then they ghost you. That's why. You've got to get a handle on the fearful thoughts that are happening that are causing them to ghost you. Do you understand? What shit happened in childhood to you that you fear people pulling their love away? That they're going to leave? Work on that. No one would dare to lose me. I'm too special to lose. I'm so motherfucking lovable. And step into that every single day, darling, until you feel better and then they'll fucking call you. But until you stop having those fearful thoughts, that's all you're sending out. So that's why he's ghosting. Brody's here. So happy I can finally do my affirmations out loud and with hype now that my guest has left. Oh! How terrible not to be able to hype yourself up out loud during the day. Oh, terrible. <laughs> I thought it was too good to be true and he ghosted me too. Guys, one of the most common things that people say to me on the call is it was too good to be true. If you think that, it will be. That's coming from a place of I'm not good enough. I can't believe I finally got the love I want. I'm so motherfucking unlovable. And finally someone loves me. It's too good to be true. And the fearful thought of it can't even be true, it's so good, means you're putting them on a pedestal. So in that statement, this is too good to be true. So they're above you because this is so good. And it can't be true, which is I'm not good enough, this will end. So within that, just that statement is the putting them on a pedestal and the fearing they'll leave, which is why it ends every single fucking time. You've got to stop thinking that. Hi, Kat! Flip that, I am too good to be true. SP thinks I'm too good to be true. Yes, Brody. They think you're too good to be true. Oh my God, they can't believe they've found me. I have so many bees before land, birds before land. Oh, wonderful, darling. Tell us. How do we stop the negative thoughts? Do affirmations reverse them? See, Luna, what the fuck have you been doing? Have you just been doing SP affirmations and hoping they'll come back? Well, That'll do nothing because then your shit kicks in when you haven't been doing self-concept and then they fucking leave again and ghost you. What do you mean do they reverse the negative thoughts? That's all affirming is. Jesus Christ. Go and watch my videos again because you're hella lost. Are you in the Facebook group or are you just on TikTok watching 60 seconds of me talking? Because that ain't going to help you much. Guys, TikTok 60 seconds. Please go to the Facebook group for the love of God and watch all these lives back. See, Lona, have you been working on your self-concept? No one would dare let me go. I am too special to lose. Have you been doing that? Or have you just been going, he loves me. He, he's coming back. He wants me so bad. Is that what you've been doing? Because that doesn't fucking work, darling. That's when they leave again. I teach people to keep them, not just get them back. Dude, I love you. You helped me so much. You literally in just one day. Oh, Rabbi Sarah Speaks 11.11. Oh, wonderful. Should I work on my self-concept to manifest good grades? You work on your self-concept to manifest everything good. Grades, job, 
money person. Yes. What's a good affirmation to remain renting the home you're in? I love living in this house. I'm going to live in this house for years. They love having me as a tenant. I'm their favourite tenant. So that. I met him on Sunday and he told me that it's better to not meet anymore. I, told, I met him on Sunday and he told me that it's better to not meet anymore. Darling, sometimes you can even be working on your self-concept and they'll say shit like that. What old thoughts did you have that you felt he wouldn't want you back? And that's why. It's just the old thoughts playing out. The 3D is old. It's laggy. It's based on your old thinking. Don't worry about what they said. It's based on what you used to think while you were thinking during the relationship and after the breakup. Don't worry about it. Fuck what he said. It doesn't matter. It's a reflection of your thinking. Just affirm he loves you and only you and he didn't mean anything he said because it's just a like out of your mouth. For out of your brain, out of his mouth. Okay? Like, guys, my husband is already acting the way I now think about him acting, and it's amazing. Really, Sarah? Just in a day, your husband is already acting the way I now think about him acting, and it's amazing. Exactly, darling. They can only think what you think they're thinking. If you think they're going to ghost you, they will. If you think they love you, they will. The end. Guys, it's that simple. Mm -hmm. Sarah's proof. She's telling us. My reality is catching up pretty damn quick. Is it, Ashley? Oh! So generous and sweet out of nowhere. Oh, he's been so generous and sweet out of nowhere. Oh, wonderful, darling. Hooray. How do you find your passion? Just say, I love what I do. I'm so passionate about my career. I have the dream career. Just say that every day and it will just come about, honestly. Everyone's so jealous of my dream career. Laws, I have good news. Oh, what, Ms. Mitchell? Tell us. You are God. God doesn't want love. God is love. Love yourself. Self-love, not elsewhere. Yes. God is love. Love yourself. Yes. Self-love, not elsewhere. Yeah, guys, if you're getting validation for love outside of you, you've got to start stepping into, I'm so motherfucking lovable. Who wouldn't love me? Seriously. That's where it comes from. Feeling lovable in yourself. You answered yesterday, but forgot what you said. Well, I don't even know what the question was, darling. You have to put it again. How the fuck am I meant to remember it? How... You know how many questions I get a day? <laughs> Put it again, darling. How to make SP reach out first? He's constantly reaching out to me. He's constantly coming towards me. He's constantly calling and texting me. I never have to do anything. So there's things. Is the law of assumption a great way to manifest? Darling, it's literally the way your brain works. It's how you manifest. The law of attraction isn't anything. The law of attraction doesn't exist. You're not attracting anything. People are teaching it on here are fucking idiots. What you assume dominantly manifests. That's how manifestation works. That's how your subconscious mind works. It's not the universe or anything else. It's just how your mind works. I don't even believe in calling it the law of assumption. It's simply how you manifest all day long. And anyone talking about law of attraction on here, please press not interested because they're a fucking moron. The universe isn't doing anything for you. Nothing outside of you is doing anything for you. Please, for the love of God, stop watching that. Saw SP yesterday, but she said she doesn't know what she wants yet. Answered last night, but I forgot. And I said, don't worry about that. You've got progress, which is she's not saying fuck off and die. So your self-concept's working on her, but she's still coming up with the old thoughts you had in your brain. They're still coming out her mouth. You don't want me. This isn't going to work out. You don't want me back. They're the thoughts. You don't know what you want. What thoughts have you been having? That's why she's saying them. So step into your self-concept more of, of course, everyone loves me. I'm so motherfucking lovable. Work on your core self-concept shit and affirm that she loves you and only you. And of course you're together. Okay. Um, don't drink the water. What are we talking about? Don't drink the water. <laughs> the moon water are you talking about? <laughs> Hi, Loz. Leaving my SP's apartment. He invited me today after almost two months without seeing each other. Oh, wonderful darling. Hooray. Oh, fantastic. Tell us more. Loz, what did you do, darling? Tell us what you did. Loz, I've been very strict on my mental diet and SP said that he wants to make us better. Oh, wonderful, Nia. Oh, that's great. Oh. Wonderful, darling. Keep going. Keep being strict on that mental diet. What are you feasting on all day? Don't feast on any crap. No McDonald's of the brain. I don't know what's wrong, but I've been manifesting my SP since January and nothing is happening because you're not working on your self-concept properly or you haven't been getting rid of the old story about them. If the old story about them is still lurking around, that's why, darling. Tell us what you've been doing and I'll tell you what's wrong. I love this. What are we saying I love this? To save the turtles. Got stuck working extra shifts this week, so I started imagining SP surprising me with flowers at work. And what happened? Okay, I missed it. I can't see it. 
Loving the Queen Energy vibe. Oh, yay! Uh, Loz, I noticed I don't react to SP and the witch, even though it hurts, and she and I say she's a guest. Oh, yes, say she's a guest. That's wonderful, darling. She's just a guest whose who's, um, welcome is expiring soon. She's outstayed her welcome. I'm sorry to have to hop off. It's 11 p.m. and I have to work early. I hope I catch your morning live. Oh, sorry, darling. Yes, I came on very late because I had two calls. Um, 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 yay, what are we saying? What are we saying yes to? I missed it. What are the best self-concept affirmations? Guys, they have to be key to your childhood stuff. I can't tell you over here, over this, unless we get on a call really, what yours are because I don't know what happened to you in childhood. I don't know what your triggers are now. It could be abandonment. It could be feeling not good enough. You have to affirm against those. But generalized ones could be, I'm a queen. I'm treated like a queen. Everyone treats me so beautifully. I am so loved and wanted. I'm so lovable. I'm a master manifester. I get everything I want, those ones. But I need to kind of know what the core things are. So if you don't know what your core things are, get on a call with me. But if you can work it out yourself, figure out your triggers and your childhood crap, then affirm against that shit. Loz, I have two dates this weekend with two different guys, just not with SP yet. Oh, wonderful, Mary. Enjoy. Enjoy the arrows coming towards you guys from other men. It'll make SP jealous. What if we don't know our childhood issues? In therapy, my doctor couldn't even figure it out. Well, he's a fucking idiot. In therapy, your therapist couldn't figure it out. Change therapists. Jesus Christ. Fuck me. Some of you have got the worst therapist. Everyone in America just must be able to become a therapist like that. I've had some calls of people who've had just the dumbest therapists. And they've been like, I've been going to my therapist for five years and they've never worked that out. I'm like, what are they, thick? Darling, what are your triggers? What are you triggered by now? When someone leaves you on red, does that trigger you? When someone doesn't look at your stories on socials, does that trigger you? Well, that's probably abandonment, okay? Or feeling like people are going to criticize you. And when they do, you feel down on yourself. You beat yourself up a lot. That could be defectiveness, okay? Feeling like no one will ever love you and you'll never get the love you need, that's emotional deprivation. Feeling like in, in childhood, you never got the love you wanted, so no one else is going to give it to you either. Not being able to trust people, that could come from abuse or an unstable household. Okay? Your therapist is an idiot. Change therapists. Seriously. My, both my parents are always around. My family was supportive and loving. Okay, so tell me about your parents. What were your parents like, each of them? What was your dad like? What was your mum like? Oh my God, just walked in on the right words. Oh, good. Just had the best first date. Oh my God, still want SP, but damn, I'm having fun. Oh, good, Jody. Yay. Guys, go out and date. Go out and get arrows from guys. Seriously, let the pushing little arrows of love come towards you and attention. Lap it up, guys. You a doctor? No, I'm not, guys. How to manifest better friendships. I've just had a shit ton of therapy. Loz, SP and I have not been in contact for days. Should I affirm contact or relationship? Either, darling. If you want them to come towards you and contact you, say that. But just say he loves being my boyfriend. He loves every little thing about me. Then he'll contact you anyway, darling, because he loves being your boyfriend. Of course, boyfriends contact you. Whichever you'd rather. You can do both. Is there ever a way to tell how lagged one's 3D is? No, not really, guys. It's kind of impossible because how do you know what your brain's doing? How do you know if it's formed a belief yet in your brain? You don't. But one way to tell that it's working is to look at the 3D and see if people are treating you differently, if things are going better for you in life in general. Are people paying you attention, giving you compliments, doing things for you? Are your family treating you better? Are your friends treating you better? Then it means your self-concept's working and the 3D will catch up. If we just assume the stillness is our SP conforming behind the scenes, that will come true. If we just assume the stillness is our SP conforming. Yes, guys, you can start saying everything's working behind the scenes. I trust everything's working behind the scenes. I, I trust in the unseen. You can start saying that, yes. Since our call, my mum is so much easier to be around after I change the story. SP, it's your turn. Yes, Jay. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, darling. Oh, it's great when the family start conforming and start treating you better. That's lovely. Yes, they are next. Yes to all of those things. My 3D is conforming. Yes, darling. Tips on letting go of manifestation. I don't teach that, darling. You've been watching some idiots. I don't teach letting go. Letting go doesn't fucking work. You've got to let go of how it's going to come about. Sure. Let go of the old story, but not let go of your manifestation. That's fucking ridiculous. You're going to stop thinking about your specific person. Are you like that? Okay, stop thinking about them. Detach. Go on, detach. Anyone who teaches that's a fucking idiot. I want you to persist, persist, persist in the new thinking until it hardens into fact. Has it hardened into fact yet? Well, no, you don't let go. Anyone who tells you to do that's a fucking moron. And needs to be off TikTok or off YouTube because they're dumb as fuck and they don't understand how manifesting works. 
I love all the success stories. I'm next. Yes, guys. Please go to the Facebook group. The whole first page is full of encouraging posts and success stories and the lives, these lives, okay? You can only post questions in the Q&A forum, okay? So it's not depressing in there. It's really enlightening and encouraging because there's so many success stories coming in. And I've only been coaching and doing these lives since the uh, middle of February. And I can't tell you how many success stories we're getting in there every day. It's wonderful. It's really encouraging, guys. Go in there and read them. And also watch the lives because they can pop up on all the lives. No one manifestation I've ever had, I did let go of it. Yes, exactly. Guys, letting go of it is so fucking ridiculous. Everyone but you, Loz, is a fraud. Literally felt bamboozled by the... <laughs> oh, darling. Honestly, there was one guy the other day doing some thing about your negative thoughts don't manifest. And I just wrote, completely untrue. And all these people on his account are like, oh, my God, yeah. My, my thoughts in my relationship manifest and blah, blah, blah. And this guy sells $50 manifestation candles. Like, he's a fraud. He's an actual fraud. Not only does he not understand manifestation, but he's ripping people off. And I'm like, all these followers, like, there's 500 people's comments on there going, oh, I'm so glad my negative thoughts don't manifest. Yes, they do. What are you talking about? If they're predominant in your brain, of course they do. That's how you cause your breakup. What are you talking about? This guy's a fucking idiot. And he's selling them $50 manifestation candles. I mean, it's really a crime. It makes me angry. Whoop! what's happening? Press something. How do you know when to use the angel numbers? Oh, God. As love or regular guidance from your guides. Well, darling, you're in the wrong place, Pearly. What's it? Darling, I don't teach any of that absolute and complete bullshit. I'll tell you what angel numbers are. Angel numbers are a number you've noticed and then your reticular activating system in your brain filters out all other numbers then you keep noticing that number and then you give that number meaning and you think it means something when it literally means fuck all. Your guides are what you think they are. If you think a spirit is guiding you, then you'll look for signs that you have guidance but you're giving meaning to a sign. It's not actually anyone guiding you. It's literally a sign you're giving meaning to. I'm really sorry. Yes, there are spirits. And yes, there are spirits around you protecting you, blah, blah, blah. Great. But they're not giving you signs. They can't possibly give you... How do you know it's a sign? They whisper in your ear and say, okay, when you see this thing, it's a sign. You're making it a sign. Signs only mean what you think they mean, whether it be an angel number or a guide sign. Okay, please stick with me, darling. You're hella fucking confused. And that's why you're probably not manifesting anything and why you're watching everyone's TikTok and being confused as hell. Go to Subconscious Laws, the Facebook group, and watch all these lives back. If you're trying to get your SP back, please watch number 25 and number 41 first, and then watch everything backwards, because you're lost as fuck. And I mean that in the nicest way, because someone's really confused you, or a lot of people are really fucking confused you. We love you, Laws. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with us. You care so much. I just, yes, I care about these stupid fucking charlatans on here selling manifestation candles. Really fucking makes me angry. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Guys, you don't need manifesting candles. Oh, my Manifesting candles. The fuck? Bye if I had to light a candle. <laughs> what is a manifestation candle? Exactly! Candles, exactly. What are some affirmations you use for your TikTok success and everything growing so fast? This is literally what I used. Ready? I am everyone's favourite manifestation TikToker. I just said that the first week I started. That's it. I didn't even know what this would be. I didn't certainly didn't think I'd have clients... I didn't think I'd be booked up three weeks ahead in advance. Never even anticipated that. People ask me for coaching. I didn't offer coaching. I just went live and people asked me. Seriously, guys, that's how it works. You can start imagining your videos going viral. You can imagine comments. You can imagine your, you know, X amount of views. Do that. Can spirits reflect your thinking? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Well, I guess they're still here, so why wouldn't they be? I guess so. I, I don't know the answer to that, Alan. I've never really investigated it. I don't know. I know that uh, Neville talks about when he used to see spirit and have conversations with them and they wouldn't understand why no one else could see them except for him. I'll have to look into that, Alan. I don't know the answer. I randomly imagined myself with a Chanel perfume and my mum took me to go buy it out of nowhere. Oh, love it. Oh, love a bit of Chanel. Yes, I imagine Kat and I are publishing award-winning authors. Yes, you're published award-winning authors. Yes, darling. Yes, yes, imagine that. I'm going to imagine that too. I'm going to imagine it's going to sell out everywhere and people are going to interview you guys and be like, how did you come up with this wonderful idea? And you're going to say, well, we, we met on this, didn't we? We met on this manifestation group and it's called Subconscious Laws. La, 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 la. And then we put her on the story. Imagine those interviews. Seriously. Imagine people lining up, darling, to sign your book and you and Kat sitting there signing books. Mm-hmm. Spirit can guide you. They see what will happen for you. Do they? Well, yes. 
But how do you know they're guiding you, darling? That's the thing. They can guide you, but how do you know what the sign is? This is the thing I don't understand. How do you know what they're trying to tell you? That's the bit I don't understand. You'll be able to tell me that because you're a medium, but that's the bit I don't understand. How do you know which sign is a sign? That's the bit I'm confused about. You're definitely my favorite on TikTok. Oh, thanks, Rebecca. Loz, is it possible to manifest that my 3D purge stops? Girl, I am really trying not to react. Oh, what's happening, Megan? Okay. Darling, yes, just say, this is all working out for me. Everything is working out in my favor. It doesn't matter what I'm seeing. I know the end. I know the end and the 3D doesn't affect me. Fuck you, 3D. Okay? Fuck you, 3D. What is happening right now will not affect what I'm going to get. It's not going to affect my end. I know how this ends. I've seen the end of the movie. This is just the part of the movie where the conflict's happening. This is just the part of the movie where the girl loses the girl. But I know the part where she gets her back. I know the part where they get married and live happily ever after. I know that part. I fucking wrote it. Guys, if shit's going wrong in your 3D, imagine it's just the middle of the movie where all the shit's going wrong. It's just Ross and Rachel not getting together and not getting together a million times until they get together. You know what I mean? Although, did they get together? I can't remember. I can't remember the end of Friends. I didn't watch till the end. But you know what I mean? You're in the media. Imagine you're writing this fucking film. It's just the middle, darling. It's the conflict part. It's the crescendo bit. It's the part in the story that goes like this. It's the climax. Is it okay to feel bad sometimes? Yes, guys, cry it out. I'm not telling you to be positive all the time. That's fucking ridiculous. Should I create a new story or just affirm things I want? Both, darling. Both. There are no problems. There are only issues. Everything always works out for me. Yes, say that. That's great. Haha, -ha, I'm in class and trying to listen to Loz, but my professor is angry. Oh, God, turn it down if I'm being loud. When is it okay to reach out to SP? When you're feeling absolutely confident of the outcome, guys. When you're absolute queen energy, you don't feel fear. You're just like, they're going to be thrilled to hear from me then. God bless you all. It is done. Yes. My SP is so in love with me and he wants me for life. Yes, I love that. How should it feel if you're living in the end correctly? Ah. Contentment. That's how I would describe it. Right? Relief. Contentment. Satisfaction. You don't have to feel overjoyed. Like, if you were married for 50 years, would you feel overjoyed every day? Joy is the key. Joy is the key. That's why when fucking Abraham Hicks says joy is the key, people who are married don't feel fucking joy every day. What are you talking about, Esther? What a load of crap. Sometimes they're sick of each other. Sometimes they get home and they're like, God, you again. They don't feel joy. They just feel like, oh, this is done. This is real. I have this. This is mine. You are my husband. You're fucking annoying me right now, but you're here. You're my husband. You know what I mean? You don't feel joy all fucking day. You just feel like it's done. It is done done and the feelings that might come with it is done is contentment relaxation relief feeling satisfied got it that's why candace and all these fucking idiots on here who are teaching law of assumption get it wrong because i think neville meant feelings he means the feeling of it is done convincing yourself it is done and then whatever feelings come after that great but it's not necessary okay ross and rachel did end up together oh did they i clearly was too old by the time it finished and i didn't watch the end I assume they got together because otherwise what would be the point of all that back and forth for them not to get together? Like that's the whole point of those stories where they just drag it out, isn't it? Because they have to get together at the end, otherwise the whole audience would be so pissed off. I've noticed my partner is reacting the way I would. Is this him reflecting my thinking? Yes! Yes, darling. If they're reflecting your thinking, absolutely. I mean, they are always reflecting your thinking. If they're doing it now in the 3D, that's why. I took your advice on manifestation, manifestation for it to happen, you letting go. What? I took your advice on manifestation and for it to happen, you letting go. I don't understand that. I don't teach letting go, darling. What's the, I don't understand what you're saying. What did I teach you? What advice did I give you? Because I don't teach letting go. You were the only honest coach, Loz. Oh. Megan and I know some stories. <laughs> I love my mum so much, but sometimes she is so toxic. She forced me to do something that I don't like. Okay, so stop saying she's toxic. Start seeing her as kind and only doing what you want. She does everything to make me happy. She does what I want. She's such a pleasure to be around. I'm in full control of me and she never controls me. Start saying that, darling. I love you. Thank you. Oh, Megan. Loz, I missed you. Oh! How do I manifest my dog to behave better? My dog is so well behaved. He does everything I want. He's so obedient. Start saying that. Hi, Loz. Loving my queen energy today. Thank you. Oh, love it. Hang on, I'm scrolling up. Mm, hang on. 
I'm so content. So content. Yes. I just know that I know how this ends, period. Yes, you know how this ends. Just like you're writing the script. Right now is the conflict part, but you know how this ends. Everyone else in the cinema is like this. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, they broke up. And you're all just sitting there. Guys, what are you freaking out about? I know how this ends. Okay, you're the, the, uh, you're the writer who wrote it. Uh, go and watch Arnie's new video. Oh, what's Arnie's new video about? In uh, Create Your Future. I love Arnie. She's great. So I don't feel live in the end, but I feel content. No, it's living in the end. But you imagine you're living in the end and that makes you feel content. You understand? And look, guys, I'm not saying you have to feel content. I'm just saying someone asked me what would the feeling be. It would kind of be like that. But guys, if you don't feel contentment, that's fine. I just want you to believe in the end. Okay? That's it. Believe it is done. That's all you really need. You don't need those other feelings. They're unnecessary. But someone just asked me. So I don't want you guys to confuse me, confuse what I'm saying and think I need you all to feel contentment. That's not what I'm saying at all. Okay? You don't need feelings. You just need to feel it is done. Please stop um, posting your question over and over and over again about I took your advice on manifestation. I literally don't understand it. So there's no point posting it a million times. I don't understand what you're saying. What is the question even? There's not even a question mark. My therapist said yesterday, it's like you both are already married. Read my SP. Yep, living in the end. Oh, did she? I love it. Arnie talks about acknowledging unwanted circumstances but don't give it power. Ah, good. Okay. So it's like saying, oh, well, 3D, fuck you. I see you, but I'm changing you. Good. Yes, not giving it power. Excellent. Can I affirm that my SP is only happy when he's around me? He went to an amusement park without me. Yes, guys, you can just say he had a fucking miserable time. His life is shit without me. His life goes to shit without me. <laughs> yes. Loz, when I win the lottery, I'm going to buy you a California beach house. <laughs> I'm so grateful for you. Oh, thanks, my darling. Oh, we can hang out there together. Have some cocktails on the beach. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Oh, what's happening? I'm accidentally producing a filter. I'm manifesting meeting Loz in person, just FYI. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have these retreats when COVID ends and I can actually get out of this state without having to stay in a hotel for two weeks on the way back. God damn it. Do you have to write your manifestation out? Love you, Loz. No, guys, you don't. And thank you. You don't have to write it out. Writing it out is unnecessary. It's just an added bonus. Scripting is an added bonus. But if you want to write your story, the new story of how you want it to look, it's a lot easier to write it out and then imagine it, probably. So write the new story of how you want it to look. Yes, you can do that. I do recommend that on the calls. Okay, so write the new story. What Write what you want to happen. What does your life look like in five years? Writing it out can make it clearer. Yes, guys, it can. But I just don't want you to write, 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 rewrite it. Like I just want you to write it once and then read it and imagine that's true. Not rewriting. I don't believe in rewriting, guys. No, guys, I don't go live with people. Sorry. So I did already mention I reached out to my SP before I was sure. What now? Idiot me. Don't worry about idiot you. Don't beat yourself up. Okay, guys, I don't want anyone beating themselves up. Absolutely not. Sorry, guys, this is going all over the place because I'm trying to hold the iPad and I'm it's running out of bats. Guys, please don't beat yourself up. If you've reached out and they haven't reached back out to you, don't beat yourself up. Just stay in your queen energy. They're going to reach back to me any day now. They're composing a lovely message. They're so nervous about writing back to me. They've fallen down a well and lost their phone. Blah, blah, blah. Give it good meaning, okay? Uh, what's happening? I have trouble sticking to one story. Yes, guys, so do I. Don't worry about it. You got a new phone, Lester? Oh, Lester's here? You got a new phone? If we start using affirmations that were working but stopped, will they continue to work? How do you know they've stopped? Guys, sometimes you guys think the 3D is a confirmation of your affirmations. It's not. You don't know what's happening behind the scenes. Stop looking at the 3D for confirmation of it working. Please stop doing that. Uh, thank you, Loz. You're welcome. Loz, my SP just told me he will never get back together with me, but I've worked on self-concept. Where's the rest of it? And changed the story. I don't know why he told me that. He told me that because that's the old story still playing out. That's your old thoughts still playing out, coming out of his mouth. Don't worry about it, darling. The 3D is laggy. Just forget what the fuck they said and just step into the state of he loves me and only me. We are together, blah, 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 and keep working on your self-concept, okay? Hi, Lester. You're back. Can you please elaborate on inner conversation, what it means? Well, you're actually having inner conversations all day, your inner self-talk, okay? But you can also imagine you're talking to someone else and imagine the conversation you would have, what you would say to them and what they would say to you. Oh, babe, you love me so much, don't you? Of course, babe, I can't stop thinking about you all day when I'm at work. I'm masturbating furiously when I go to the toilet. I know, you're obsessed with me. <laughs> you can have those conversations, okay? No, guys, I don't go live with people, sorry. That's good. Stop trying to get confirmation in the 3D. Yes, guys. The confirmation's up here. You say what's going to happen. That's it. What's happening in the 3D doesn't fucking matter. 
believe you have received it and you will. Yes, because it's done. Yes, Molly. My girlfriend said she didn't want to be together a week before we got together. Yep. Doesn't matter what they say. Yes, darling. That's what my SP did. He's like, I best, guess I better not see anyone. Probably a good idea an hour later we're back together. About to say something else then. <laughs> I started no contact because I didn't like he kept leaving me undelivered. Is that okay, darling? You're reacting to yourself. I'm so pissed off with you for having thoughts of him ghosting me. You. Guys, when you leave them, when you don't message them back, you're basically yelling at yourself. You're causing it, darling. Work out how you're causing that shit. If you're having to go no contact, it's because of shit you're doing and you're not understanding that all they're doing is simply reflecting back your shitty self-concept about yourself and going no contact with him will make no fucking difference unless you change your thinking. Go and watch all the videos in the Facebook group because you're not getting this. Go and watch number 25 and number 41, for the love of God. I pretend to text SP when we weren't actually to get together texting. Good, do that, guys. Change your number to their number and send text to yourself. When do I keep, I mean, change your number to their name and then text yourself as if it's them why do i keep reacting to 3d when i know better i keep persisting but i'm so frustrated with myself well don't beat yourself up guys just go we'll stop doing that okay laws is it beneficial to listen to guided meditations for bed to change your subconscious yes and listen to them as you're sleeping everyone's talking about the dylan james ones do those yes in create your future channel yes laws we're manifesting three weeks sp called after no contact for a week to say i love you been manifesting three weeks and SP called after no contact for a week to say I love you. Oh, that's wonderful, darling. Congratulations. That's beautiful. Love it. Yes, yes, wonderful. What are good ways to live in the end to get a raise at work? I love the amount of money I earn now. I earn so much more than I used to. My God, I earn so much more than anyone in the workplace. They'd be like, whatever it is you want. I'm so glad I got that raise. I can do so many things with the extra money I got with that raise. Start saying that. But snapping him hurt my feelings more when he left me on delivered. Darling, it's about you. I couldn't give a shit what you think he's doing. He's reacting to your shitty thinking about you. He hurts your feelings when he leaves you on delivered because you've probably got abandonment issues of feeling like you're going to get rejected constantly. And so because you've got fearful thoughts of you're going to leave me, you're going to leave me on red, you're going to not answer my messages, I'm not good enough for you, am I, am I, am I? He's reflecting that. You're not getting this. Please go to the Facebook group and watch all the lives because you're not understanding that you're causing him to leave you on delivered and then you're feeling hurt by things you're causing. Mm. feels like I've been stagnant in my manifesting for months. What should I do, love? Well, you're probably doing it wrong, darling. What the fuck have you been doing? Have you been watching my videos or have you been watching some LOA idiot who's teaching about the universe and letting go? Because that's why it ain't working. Okay? When I'm triggered by 3D with SP, I sing Mariah Carey, Why You're So Obsessed With Me In My Head. Oh, is that a Mariah Carey song? I love that. Love it. Thank you, everyone, so much. You're welcome. Darling, I love that story. I love it. Why am I saying you're welcome? Everyone else was thanking you. It was congratulating you. Laws, a few days ago, you were talking about manifesting in steps. Can you talk about it a bit more? So if you feel like the end is just so out of reach and so hard for you to grasp in your brain, it just seems impossible to think you're married or to think you're back together, you can start saying, he's starting to think about me now. And then the next day, he's thinking about me more and more. He's thinking about me every day now. He's obsessed with me. He's starting to contact me. He's contacting me more and more. He's blowing up my phone. We're married. You know what I mean? You're doing it in steps. If your subconscious really fights you on thinking you're already together, you can do that, okay? I always listen to my baby by Mariah Carey. Always be my baby. Do do, do. Uh, you mean that one? That's a good one. Uh, My self-concept is on point, laws. Everyone, self-concept, self-concept, it works. Yes, guys, that's how you did it. Yay, and then a week later he messaged you and says, I love you. Oh, wonderful. Dylan James is my dad. I love that man. Yes, I'm going to have to start listening to those uh, nighttime affirmation tapes. Also, Kim Blair's goddess meditation is good for self-concept. Yes, it is. Um, 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 Lodge, your voice. (laughs) What are you talking about? (laughs) State actually makes a difference. Yes, guys. You're a gem. Look at you. Can't wait to hear your success stories here. Yes, guys. Become a singer. Oh, I used to be, guys. I used to sing for a living. (laughs) Sorry, I used to do it for a living. And voiceovers, but thank you. <laughs> Thoughts on Agnes Vivarelli? She's a confused ass bitch. Stop watching her. She confuses all the kind of LOA in with law of assumption. She thinks she's teaching law of assumption, but she confuses it with a whole lot of vibration and love and giving and taking and fucking like Abraham Hicks shit. 
Her meditations are nice though. Her self-love meditations and stuff are nice. Her meditations are very nice, but I wouldn't listen to her actual meditation, uh, her manifestation teaching. She's confused as fuck. Be prepared though. His videos make me super grumpy and 3D went, it gets, where do it went, but it gets better. Oh, you mean like the um, listening to the tapes overnight make you grumpy? Yeah, someone was just saying they were turning them off in the night. Somebody else was saying, I think it was Megan, you were saying you threw your phone across the room. <laughs> Sometimes in your sleep, guys, your subconscious won't like it. Who do you recommend on YouTube? Sammy Ingram, Manifesting with Kimberly. She recommends Dylan James, so Dylan James. Uh, but I haven't really watched him. Um, Create Your Future. Kimberley's. And what's the other one? Caleb at Pluto's Gate, except he's got a bit confused recently and starting to change his teachings, but his early videos are great. Same. I wake up feeling weird after listening to his affirmations in my sleep. Yeah, well, a lot of people are saying that. I love Kimberly. Yes, Kimberly's great. Manifesting with Kimberly, guys. She's in the Facebook group. She's lovely. Do we need subliminals? I don't believe in them, guys. I don't know what they're saying. Love the gang at Create Your Future. Katie is amazing. Yes, I love Katie. My SP kept making comments on, oh, yeah, you're working on getting those boys, my sons. What do you mean? I don't understand that. What are some things you've created recently, Loz? Well, this account, really. I'm really concentrating on this account more than anything, to be completely honest with you. And getting my mum back when she went missing the other week. And the police were searching for her. Things like that. Do it with your own voice. It's so good. Ah, oh, yeah. Do it your affirmations in your own voice. Absolutely. Yeah, Joseph Allo's great. He explains Neville really clearly. But he does concentrate too much on living in the end and not affirming in the meantime because Neville really taught, never necessarily taught affirmations, even though he did. But Joseph's very, very Neville-based. And so he says, drop the seed and never think of it again. And a lot of people find that very hard. So sometimes his teachings can be a bit confusing. Oh, my God, you and Kimberly joined the Facebook group. She hates Facebook. Yes, she joined the Facebook group. She's in it. And she's now on TikTok. She keeps liking my videos, so she must have joined TikTok. Can he can't get me out of his head. My love is all he thinks about. Chanel, oh, some Carly Minogue lyrics. Yes. Unseen Seraph is great on YouTube. She has fantastic self-concept loop. Oh, does she? Scarlet, her name is. Scarlet. Yes, I know her. She's got that funny accent. Can my SP be manifesting me? I think about him when I don't want to think about him. No, it's not him manifesting you that's doing that, darling. It's just you thinking about it. She also joined TikTok just to see Loz. Oh, is that what it was? Oh, so she's not going to start her own TikTok? She should. I thought that's what she was doing. I'm sure she will. Get good something opposite. I don't know how to persist through this. Get good something opposite happens. Well, stop saying something opposite always happens, okay? And then keep persisting. Stop looking at the 3D and just live in your mind, darling. Loz, I'm getting too good at this. I just manifested my order to cancel by itself because I didn't want it. Ah, <laughs> Lester. <laughs> what do you need the call for, darling? You're a master. Love Kim. You're manifesting Kimberly. She's wonderful. Are you and Kim best friends? Oh, I don't even know her. I have to become, I have to do YouTube so I, we can do a collaboration. Absolutely. Uh, okay, guys, I've really got to go. Sending you love for your mum, Loz. Oh, thanks. She did go missing again the other day, but they found her. They realized she'd absconded, they're now calling it. They found her within the hour. They went and drove around and found her. Some stranger found her on the corner and rang me, but I was driving. Then rang my brother and said, I um, found your mum. <laughs> Fuck. And we'd only been there an hour before. I was like, she was obviously going out looking for us. Where have they gone? Jesus Christ. Loz, I keep telling myself, just because you don't see movement, it doesn't mean there isn't any. Yes, Mary, I love that. You should collab with Kim. Yes, I will. I'll get in touch with her, and, and when I start the YouTube, we absolutely will. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'll be live later on Facebook because it's Facebook Friday. So, guys, if you haven't joined the Facebook group, go to Subconscious Laws, Subconscious Space Laws on Facebook or click the link in my bio. Just answer a few questions so I know you're not a spammer. You can watch all these lives back, and I go live every Friday. So around this time tomorrow, oh, probably earlier, probably about 9 p.m. EST, I'll be live in Facebook, okay? Then I'll be back at TikTok at normal times, okay? And if you want coaching with me, there's a link there. There's no coaching available till early July at the moment because I'm fully booked but click the link and please do join the facebook group guys just answer a few questions so i know you're not a spammer and follow me because i go live twice daily and tonight it will be facebook all right guys see you later love you bye